hello everyone and welcome back to the channel just stopping by for a quick minute or so to sit down and talk with you all about a new show that is airing in march i don't know if it's march 6th or march 3rd is one of them but anyway we are talking about candy versus uh spinoff where she's featuring some of her family members and um some of her family members she adopted in a sense to work for her business because she kind of put everybody whether you work for her <clears throat> or whether you're a biological family member she treats you as family is what i hear and then as, as i see on some of her spinoffs she she tends to treat her valuable employees like family so i kind of like that about her mama taught her well or whomever she admired in her family taught her well but i would like to think mama joyce did that so woohoo mama joyce but honey baby i saw the trailer and i was like oh my god you put seasoned women uh together if you don't know what i'm talking about seasoned women older women up in age when you put them together and you mix chaos and a little bit of drama fieldness girl you got a winning recipe for some kikis and some ha-has and some laughs not like portia williams show where she made her whole family look like <sighs> idiots fools not neanderthal the thralls jaws neanderthals some word like that <coughs> okay but it just made them have a bad taste in your mouth and everything was just like cringe worthy and you know you, you kind of got upset and this that and the third but this him them three ladies if they didn't have these three ladies especially um uh bertha the one to the left if they didn't have these three ladies in the pit <laughs> or any commentary any show it wouldn't be a hit because candy you, you can't you know she's just like something that's real mild and when you want her to be uh spicy it's gonna be shown something similar to some sexual act of some sort okay but yeah she got a she got an interesting chemistry of people with her uh filming but i did like one part where they showed mama joyce was in some kind of i don't know spa clinic or butt lift clinic and they were showing her rare ass you know and it was nice looking for her to be her age you know what i'm saying she kept herself uh well when it called called to keep up you know your body parts and stuff so i can't say she did her due diligence but honey showing your ass on tv candy you should have been ashamed of yourself you don't let your mama show you no ass like that come on now privacy is privacy your mama is not no spring chicken but i can see where she gets her sexual i can see where you get your sexualness from your mama joyce because mama joyce probably was a mess and then it probably was on nora but on um, birth was like hey uh, uh we ain't putting up with no shit like that we, we ain't finna do that she was the uh nun uh what do you call it she was the no, no take uh what do you call it no holes barred type of lady you didn't step to her unless you wanted to get she was like big mama you know what i'm saying some things you just didn't do you didn't say and you, you always be respectful that's my birthday she keep everybody in control okay but i did see some things that i didn't like about todd um uh, and y'all will see it i'll let y'all see it for yourself he's still whining and carrying on and think he has uh hiring power hiring power as well as firing power and Candy was like, no, no son, no Lord, no God. You don't have those. You, you just a, a person that got vain credentials. But don't don't try to do that with my family. That'll be a very big mistake you'll make. Because she's going to choose family. I'm sorry. She's going to choose family over Todd any day, every day. But she's going to try to keep him and appease him. Because he's, he's, bought, he's, bought, he's bought a piece of property pretty much. But I remember seeing Portia wearing the same outfit, at least the top, the bodysuit that, um, candy had on there i know y'all know what i'm talking about she was uh porsche was at a hawks game i believe and she had on the the top part of that shirt and the bottom part it's like a cat suit so i'm like oh so they do have taste similar to the taste uh sexualness okay so it could have been some but candy finna show porsche how to do a show and do it well okay and i have none of her family members looking at her like she's stupid because i'm pretty sure more so than not none candy probably told her family look at here you can cut the fool up here if you want to 
I ain't part of editing it, so they gonna film what you get them, okay? So if you wanna act a fool out like there, don't think I'm finna go and clean shit up for you, cause Bravo just do what they do, okay? That's why they a reality ratchet show. So, you on P's and Q's. Don't make me look stupid in a sense where I'm gonna have to cuss you out on camera, cause I will get down to the nitty gritty. I'll try to be pr professional about it, but when you get on my nerve, I'm gonna tell you what's what. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait to know a confessional. I'm gonna say what's what. So, you know, she probably told her a total line. Watch what you say because it will be brought back to you. And if you want to look like a fool on camera, that's you. It ain't going to be me. That's you. And, you know, she probably just gave them the, 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 the pros and cons of how to film properly. And then they can't mess with too much editing. But, uh, Portia, I mean, um, Candace, um, family's not, it's nothing new to them. Maybe some of them it is that never got a chance to be on one of her specials and probably didn't want to, you know. But, um, one thing Todd did do, he kind of, instead of him being motivated to Melvin, he was supposed to be the kitchen manager. Because evidently, uh, I think, um, Candy adopted him. I think his dad went to jail or something like that. And Candy just felt like she had to take care of him, you know, until the, she leaves this earth, whatever, which is a sw uh, sweet, uh, attribute of hers, very nice characteristic. But she kind of got mad at Todd because Todd was like grilling him. But no, he's one of them people you got to kind of like uh, have the white glove treatment with. You you can't just go off on them because then they go to another whole different level of um, their characteristics. Their demeanor started to change for the negative. So she was kind of getting on Todd like you don't have to get on him like that. You know, he said I was just I wasn't really getting on it. Like yes, she was, you know, and she know her man. She know her man. She know how a man feel about her family because when they first came on He was you know saying some slick shit like you know your family's already a mess and then you add some of the employees here It's you know, it's, it's a mess candy. It's mess. I'm like see that's what I'm saying What where's some of your folks that we can put to work Todd that we can put behind the counter or or or, or clean up the restaurant or be a hostess or a bartender or something like that what where, where your folks at and we can put to work because it seems like you always getting on can about who she employed whether it's her a friend's friend of a friend or it's her family member you always got something negative to say i'm like then why don't you how about this why don't you stay behind and run this restaurant then you might could have some hiring and firing uh power around him but until you still chasing me and you know i love i love when you back there with me you know you're my entourage you're my new boy as well as my husband you know what i'm saying but uh, we can switch places too because you can come when i need you need you but if you want to be trying to do some things don't try it don't try it by my family and this little cutie boy that's uh bertha aunt bertha the heavyset one that's uh he's the manager of the olg park a lot i'm like park a lot manager he must don't have no real good uh, skills. <laughs> you know, he must don't have no real skill set. But that's Aunt Bertha's grandson. And she love him to death. But she says in so many words. Okay, I'm just looking at the body language. He a hoe. Okay, he's supposed to be dating on and off this girl named Dreka or Drika. Uh, I think she's a, a bartender. Hell, I don't know where she is. And, and, and their talents and their positions at the restaurant. It, it's neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? It's not really um, something we really care to talk about. It's their demeanor, their actions, their characteristics that we love. That How the chemistry works well with all of them. But I think this man right here was trying to tell Ken how to run her own restaurant by him being the chef. He kind of got a little crazy. And then she getting all these crazy low-rated uh restaurant grades for cleanliness and all that kind of, you know this is a report card about the whole restaurant at you know in its totality and i'm like no he ain't coming off on her like that but can had to get him straight yep she you know she got him straight somewhat but she really tore him down in them confessionals but i'm like don't say the confessionals when you need to get in somebody's ass go on and just give it to them you know what i'm saying then when you go in your confessionals you can repent about it <laughs> Oh, sad, say well, show me that clip again. Yeah, I was a little harsh. Okay, I repent. I apologize. But when the shit hitting the fan, you go on to handle that on camera while it's ha happening and the adrenaline is just pumping and going out, you know, sorts of things of that nature. But yeah, I think Bravo got a good winner on their hands. It's definitely going to surpass Portia Family Matters because evidently Portia was out, out of school or out of session. She didn't attend the classes that, uh, uh, call for prof 
professionalism as well as to draw the crowd in with just a little mixture of drama some common sense and some good life lessons learned at the end of each episode you see what i'm saying she harnessed in on that she bottled it and she's making magic off of it because our ski trip was cool I think this is going to be a cool one. And I forgot the other one. I think it was her spinoff on her wedding. You know, we're going to need the seasoned people there. So she knows she got to win them with the seasoned people. And them three aunts, I mean two aunts and one mama. Girl, please. But it seems like Mama Joyce is going to be getting into it with a family member. I don't know how close they are or where this family member comes from. It might be on Candace's dad's side. I don't think they're, I mean, she might be married in it. I don't know, but honey, baby, Aunt um, Nora want to push this lady down some steps in her own way, in her own mind. But she's coming, it's coming out her mouth saying she want to put this lady down some steps because she talking bullshit. And Mama Joyce hollering, talking about she ain't say not one time that the old lady game restaurant was hers. I'm like, well, Mama Joyce, where'd you drop? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing pillow talk honey what are you insinuating or alluding to that is your baby girl candy and hey you you know what i'm saying you got the golden keys to the old lady girl what's going on because i thought it was just her and todd's business and y'all were just the spokeswomen of the brand you know what i'm saying y'all didn't do too much y'all just shared y'all recipes y'all showed up for photo takes here and there but that's about it because you know i'm birthed so she ain't gonna be in nobody's damn kitchen she in her own kitchen cooking for her own man herself and her family whenever she deems like it's necessary and i think aunt nora i don't think she's married that's the one to the left she loves you know being in tune with herself doing things living life fully by herself uh, she might have a man but you know she never really puts them on camera or anything like that so i'm just saying she's living her best life being happy about it and, and moving and grooving but child candy <laughs> candy got some on her hands again but i like that she is expressing some of her emotions but she's just letting a lot of things play out now of course this is just a trailer they could have chopped it up and did what they wanted to do about it but it is what it is but again Todd is not coming off as a good person to not want to get in his ass about just how he's saying things, just his whole characteristic and demeanor. And Miss Mama Joyce, she's trying to drink from the fountain of youth, turning back time. If I could turn back time and my share voice, okay? And pretty much um uh Nora, she's just been always her fun loving caring self you know nothing's really changed with her she's aging very gracefully and nicely i should say but honey bertha <laughs> i'm telling you it would not be a show without bertha and and, and mama joyce because i know i know she she's showing herself she's showing her ass on this show or uh, this particular one where she trying to go off on this lady talking she's gonna throw somebody down some stairs like i'm i mean i know around come on girl you really know you ain't even throw that girl down no stairs now are you really saying that girl that's an assault charge and can't got time to be repairing and paying that lady for the rest of her duration of her life even though she's season two and she's you know you know what i'm saying she look kind of frazzled and you talking you finna throw somebody down some stairs now um Oh, Nora, come on. What got in your panties tonight? <laughs> when you caught yourself making that statement, girl. But, yes, Candy definitely have a win-win in a, on her uh, new spinoff, I believe. I will be watch, watching it, covering it, giving y'all the play-by-play, blow-by-blow, as, as, as I did with Portia. I think hers is going to be a lot more fun loving you're gonna see a lot of different emotions she might even make you cry here and there because you know you can't just a cry baby i mean you can say boo <laughs> it's just depending on how she feels she might just start crying you know what i'm saying but i do know she is a giver she is uh definitely uh well known in atlanta i think she got the keys to the city i think she uh, can't got a uh, over there in south atlanta she got a, a road name after her a day name after her some some stuff but you know she's rubbing heads with uh our what do you call it our county officials and this and the third her and ti there but she ain't gonna mess with ti child ti got too many infractions on him to be trying to say you she gonna hook up with him talking about 
T out here told her one day she got the credit, he got the money. Let's do business. I said, Ryan can't do Ryan, run like a track star. But anyway, <laughs> like don't get in, don't get into making a mess. Because you see how you treat her. Get you on the string, try to, you know, do some things with him. Uh-uh, no ma'am, no son no lord. Run, get it, run. But anyway, just, um, it was just funny, 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 funny. I got a good chuckle, especially when I saw, uh, <laughs> Aunt Bertha telling the producer or the person that was asking her questions or them questions in the confessionals. She like, damn, we got to do this again? <laughs> she said, yeah, we got to tape again. It's like, she wants to say, fuck this shit. <laughs> What I need my check. <coughs> She's people are thinking the girl. I need some more money because this white lady get on my nerve talking about we gonna take one, two, three, four time cut and then she talking about we finna do it again. Hell no. She had been out the game for a while. She had been out the game for a while. She, she don't know no better. She forgot all these cut scenes and all these different marks she got. Because <laughs> our birthday remind me of so, much, so many of my deceased relatives and some we still have in place here on this plane of existence. But girl, she remind, I'm pretty sure birth, everybody have a birthday. <laughs> And probably everybody have a mama joy inside Woo, John. But I wasn't pleased when, uh, <laughs> what's her name? Uh, mama joy was trying to show her behind. Like, <laughs> that's too porn rated. Keep that. I don't ever want to see that. Mm-mm. Mama joy, stop it. Stop it. You're, I just because you're drinking from the fountain. Now, you and you looking good, baby. We don't need to see all your body parts. No, ma'am, no, Lord, no. God, we don't need to see that, okay? Whoo, I need to get that image out of my head. But anyway, B- Bertha is always going to come out. I'm pretty sure every time she tapes, she's going to be the VIP of the night. We need to give her the trophy award. Because Aunt Bertha don't be playing with nobody. She'll get who you wear, honey. If you know her, she love, love you. You might well put up with her shit. Because she's going to give it to you straight without any chaser, okay? And no ice cubes like that. <laughs> She, she like big mama honey but y'all that's all i got of this um introduction of candy's brand new show her new spinoff i think it's the third spinoff i think but anyway it's gonna be sens- sensational i believe from the first part that we saw like i said it was the trailer so it may not be all of uh season one episode one it might be chopped up into little bits and pieces here and there but one thing i can say it ain't gonna be boring because the people she got up in here you know we already got tall we got a clown tall because i'm still trying to figure out where is his trucking company w- what products have he bought to fruition with these new buildings these, you know what is he doing <laughs> they, other than being an entourage groupie with his wife okay and then when you got the mixture of the the mother and the two aunts priceless okay and then you got some crazy employees <laughs> that's trying to have a own job affair and then you got two called took i don't know what they call themselves but i do know brian is the server uh he's spicy as all can be and i think his name was Torin, maybe i don't know who he's supposed to be i think he's an entertainment person and then you got uh i think his name melvin he's supposed to be the the chef i'm thinking that was trying to be all bossy fired with um candy i think it's him but i don't know i'm hell i might got a mixed up child i'm I just chill john <laughs> not even be in the picture honey but he cute he cute girl <laughs> but i have melvin down on my notes for some reason and I know Patrick is supposed to be Aunt Bertha's grandson. He's supposed to be the parking attendant manager. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Whoo, where are we going with this parking attendant shit? But anyway, uh, Andrea, or Draco, she's supposed to be, I'm going to say she's a bartender or somebody, but she's supposed to be having a, a on the job relationship with Aunt Bertha's uh grandson patrick so that's gonna be interesting to say the least but that's all i have you do see other clips of other people i just don't know who they are because 
what the trailer was showing us was only those people that I had talked about. So we'll probably get to meet the hostess, uh, which is that girl in the left with the little um, silver dress or we call it champagne looking dress. And that man is in the back with the turban on his head. I'm not sure who the hell he is, but <laughs> he might be the art director. Child, I don't know. But it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Make sure y'all tune in over here at the fam house. Hi, that Death Nails for this world. Would she love to convo with her family members? All right, y'all bring in some additional things I may have missed. Okay, when we're following this um, sitcom spinoff show of Candy, okay? Because I like to laugh, child. I like, and I love making y'all laugh too. Hell, ain't no sense of me up here laughing by myself. But it is a trip, child, Candy, and the gang. Look forward to it coming in March. All right, to a Bravo station near you. And I'll see y'all next video, guys. Bye-bye.